Antique Collectors Beware, Art and Story by Melanie Pope. What an adventure! You have been rummaging through this dusty old antique store for a while now, navigating the rows of old goods, stacks of old cigar boxes, furniture, tarnished silverware, and dozens of chipped teacups. In times past, these were the prized possessions of someone, somewhere, but now, most of what you have seen is junk. But you are not deterred. No, you are a seasoned antique enthusiast. You have a knack for finding wondrous items hidden amongst the junk piles, the keen eye to detect mint-conditioned comics squished between tired and dog-eared books. It's the thrill of the hunt, and you are prepared to search. You walk around an unstable stack of encyclopedias and spot it, an old steamer trunk. As far as value goes, trunks are a dime a dozen and usually overpriced although they are visually appealing and desirable to the right buyer. So it piques your interest anyways. If it's cheap enough, you could flip it for a profit. A closer inspection provides a more interesting perspective of the old trunk. It's unusual. The make is unfamiliar, weathered but sturdy, with handsome bands of wood secured with iron pegs that wrap around the lid and sides. There are worn out initials of a name long since forgotten, and it's covered with stamps that prove of its travels abroad. Well now, this could be a conversation piece indeed. Perhaps there is more hints to its past and treasures inside. Deep in thought, you don't realize you're already leaning in. Your hands are reaching forward for the handle to open this enticing item. That's when you realize there is no handle. No way to open the lid without physically lifting it by its clasps. Odd. Hesitating, you stand up straight and look around the room you have wandered into. It occurs to you that the space you are in seems eerily quiet. Even for an old dusty antique shop, the air around you is far too still, like someone was holding their breath. You look around. There is no one else in this part of the store but you. You look down at the trunk again. Is there something in there? Stepping back, you look around the room for something you could use to poke it. Ah, an old cane. That will do nicely. You feel a little silly, but the hairs on the back of your neck are pricking up in warning. Ugh, maybe there's a rat inside. Stepping back as far as possible, you lift your cane and extend your arm out and wrap on the top of the trunk with a sharp thwack. The reaction is instant. The trunk flies open with a loud creak producing an enormous mouth filled with pointed teeth and a massive long tongue that spills out onto the ground. It's slimy, dark purple, and writhing aggressively, determined to grapple its prey and swallow you whole. Panic fills you, and you fall back, frantically scrambling until your back thumps into an old wardrobe. The tongue reaches for you, but you are out of range, if only just. The creature blinks, many golden eyes suddenly emerging from the flesh of its mouth. Those eyes are cunning and clever. It makes no noise other than the wobbling thumps as it rocks from side to side. Keeping your eyes on the thing, you inch along the wardrobe, heart pounding in your ears as you try to put as much distance between you and it as possible. As you back away, the creature settles again, its eyes that stared so intensely suddenly becoming lazy. It almost looks docile as its tongue pulls back, enticing you to move back within range. Not remotely convinced of its facade, you stare back determinedly, too afraid to turn your back on this thing should it spring forward somehow. It squints at you, thinking. After what seems like an eternity, the creature finally withdraws, pulling in its tongue and shutting its mouth. Instantly, the trunk is silent and impeccably still, belying the monster that hides within. Did you just imagine all of this? No. The thick streak of tongue slime on the floor remains. Taking a slow breath, you back away quickly and look around the corner to see if anyone has heard or seen your encounter. No one has. When you look back at the trunk, it's gone. Panic fills you again until you see, just off to the side, an apple red gumball machine standing where you are certain there wasn't one before. It's vintage, but pristine, filled with colorful, polished gumballs. That shiny lever is practically begging you to give it a turn. This is a clever mimic, indeed. <laughs>